Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for a Future Focus video. In this video we're going to talk about Timeline Live Record. Live Record is useful to capture a buff show where you operate the playbacks manually in time with your music or other live cues. You can do a live record multiple times on the same timeline to build up a more complex show. Live Record does not record the following elements. Recall of palettes will not be recorded. You need to save the looks to a playback to use them on a timeline. State of Masters is not recorded, so group, BPM, size, rate, and intensity masters will be recorded as if in 100%. If you play back the timeline after changing masters, then it could look different. You can release all masters before recording the timeline to see what is actually being recorded. Masters will then be used to modify the timeline playback for live bust cues. Actions triggered via the scene master are also not recorded. Using tracks can be a great way to organize your timeline by putting different elements such as blinders or strobes on different tracks. By default, Timeline will auto-simplify your playbacks to give smooth fades, but if you have complex fader movements, you may wish to turn this option off. So let's take a look at all of this. So here I am on version 15 of Titan on the Titan Go interface, and I got some windows laid out here so we can see what we're doing with our timeline. So first thing we have to do is go under hit record and create timeline, or we're going to hit record a total of four times and take it straight to create timeline. And then we'll choose an empty fader here. And you see here we've got timeline 17 as the default name, and it just put it up in our uh, timeline view window. And to start the live record process, uh, simply all we have to do is go ahead and hit the record button. And then we can set it uh, to do a different track. If we have more than one track ready, we do not. We can set its start time and its end time. I think we should be set this back to default. And then down here we've got start live record. So we hit start live record. So now after I start playing our time code or send it in from an external source, uh, we're going to use internal for this one. We can go ahead and hit play so the time starts running. And then I can just start firing playbacks and have them recorded. I can fire cues. I can use our go button on our cue list. We can swap playbacks if we want. We can flash playbacks. We can do quick fader movements. And we'll go ahead and hit go here. We can also use playbacks in our playbacks window. So if we go here, And once we got everything done, we can go ahead and hit stop running on our time. And then we can go ahead and hit uh, cancel. Say we just did what we did and we, we weren't happy with it. We can just cancel it and dump it. Uh, merge, we'll merge it into this if we had more than one stuff there already. Uh, we could merge it into it or replace if we wanted anything else in our timeline to go away and only be what we recorded. Uh, we could do that. We're going to go ahead and hit merge and we'll leave our auto simplify on. So now we can see we have everything in our timeline. We'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Actually, we'll release all of our running playbacks first. We'll make this a little bigger so we can see. We see here all the different playbacks we used and their actions that we did. Use along here at the bottom. We can scroll through, see everything. I want to see here we can uh, we'll drag it around a little bit. Make it a little smaller so we can only see what we want. You can see where we, every time we hit go, and brought our faders up and down. And all that there. Let's say I wanted to add an additional track. I just go ahead and I'll collapse this one to make it a little easier to see here. I'll hit our plus button, and we'll add a blank track. And this one, I'm going to put all my blinders in it, since I didn't do any blinders cues in the last one. So I'll go ahead and go back to this workspace here. So we'll enter the live record again. So we hit record. And we'll change our track to track two. All of that is fine there. So we'll start our live record again. 
And we can say we'll go ahead and collapse this. We'll go ahead and start our time code running. And then we can bring our binders in with our fader or hitting our flash keys or our swap keys where we need. We some kind of wacky fader movements here. So say that's good for what we want. So we'll go ahead and leave auto simplify on so you can see what it does to these points here. So we'll go ahead and merge that. And we see how it simplified out those uh, records. So I'll go ahead and stop our time code. And then we'll go ahead and uh, We'll change back to this page here. Yeah, we'll go to this page. And that's to show recording uh, with auto simplify turned off. So we'll go ahead and hit the live record again. And this time we'll select track, new track, and start live record. And we'll start our clock running. And let's say on this one, I want to have some really Kind of exotic fader movement going on there. Something like that. A little on the silly side, but we get the idea here. So that's what we want. So we'll turn auto simplify off and then we'll merge it and see that it kept those really fine points that we did with our fader. So you go ahead and stop it again. We're going to turn our link on for our time code. And now we can also change our time code. So we'll change it to SMPTE. As I have a, a uh, SMTP sender, I go ahead and start playing that and see that our timeline runs to SMTP. So we'll go ahead and pause that and rewind it and set our clocks back to zero. And we can still edit uh, like we did before, like we've shown in our other videos. To edit, we simply select what we want. In this case, we'll uh, wouldn't select this. We would lock these two tracks. We'll say that they're perfect. We just need to mess with our blinder track. So make it a little bit bigger, and then we'll go ahead and use our zoom in tool. I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's say that this flash, I realize we'll do the swap, was not in the right place. We can select it and then drag it or use our wheels to move it around. So we wanted it right there. And then we want it to be for a little longer. So we'll grab just one end of it and we'll make it a little longer there. Of course, we could do this with anything. Say we needed to move both of these cues uh, farther earlier in. We can do a drag like that. And we'll say that that is now perfect. And of course, all those edits automatically save, so there's nothing else to do. For more in-depth of editing, as well as the auto-simplify and auto-smooth features, uh, see our video on tracks and triggers. So that is using the live record in Timeline in version 15 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Avalites US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.